How is it going, people of YouTube? And uh, this is Halo 2 2. Oh, ah, 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 this is Halo 2 2 oh, as always. And today I'm bringing you something extra special. Uh, yes. So, a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people, but some people are having, I guess, a little trouble uh, downloading the FTB launcher and sometimes getting it to work. But, oops, I just hit my keyboard again. It's just what happens when I'm using a different recording software. <coughs> Anyway, so today what we are going to do, right, is I'm going to show you how to, uh, first of all, get FTB, and second of all, run it with the multi-MC if the FTB launchers never uh, don't work for whatever reason. Now, uh, these links will be in the description uh, down below, but uh, I have them here just so, you know, it'll be a little easier. Here's the... Uh, Here's multi MC up here, and here's uh, Feed the Beast. So I guess we can start off by um, doing the first things we need to do, and uh, making a new folder. This would just be called uh, FTB, uh, why not YouTube, or something like that, okay? Now this is going to be our FTB folder, and then we'll also need to make a multi MC folder. Multi YouTube. Sounds good. Okay, so we're going to open this up. Sorry, open up my uh, second monitor. Let's see. First link. Oh, I know this one uh, well enough. So, HTTP www.feed hyphen the hyphen east dot com. Okay. Now you're gonna be brought to this uh, screen, and you're just gonna hit download. It's gonna bring you down to uh, this, and it says download client. The client allows you to play, you know, the downloaded mod packs, as well as maps, blah blah blah. Okay. Now, if you're going to run a server, you would download this and then uh, put it in your server. It's quite uh, easy. This is probably the uh, for forms. I uh, don't really use it, so I'm not really sure. Now, you can download either the jar or the exe. It's basically the same. It's just I use the jar. I like the jar better. I don't know why. I just, I'm crazy. Okay, and this is kind of new. Uh, but anyway, it's going to take a creeper host. And it's, go oh, look at that. Okay, so download now. Or you can use this, apparently. I guess it's changed since I've last downloaded it. Okay, so see, now it's downloaded it, the jar. Okay. Uh, let's go to the desktop, and let's just drop it here. And we can drag it into our FTB. Now, uh, it doesn't really matter if it's named uh, the, that. Um, that's just because I also have downloaded it before. So now let's just run it. And uh, just let it run, and it's going to make some files. Or it should when I hit launch. It already has this because I have downloaded it before. But I, if I hit launch, it should, in fact, do stuff. But maybe not because I guess I already have it downloaded. But basically that's what you would do. And then I, after you downloaded it, which it might do. I'm not really sure. Oh, yeah. So after you downloaded it, it, will, it won't look like this anymore. It'll look more like this. Uh, well, not all of this, but some of it. Uh, really, all you need to pay attention to is FTB Beta A, uh, and you'll still have this launcher and all this. Okay. Now, what are we gonna do? Well, if that for some reason never doesn't work because of uh, what like maybe some kind of uh, server being down and you can't download it or or you can't connect to the uh, server, you can also use Multi MC. And sorry, I'm just speaking really fast and running out of breath. <laughs> okay. So this uh, this uh, link, as I said, one second, my headset just died. This link, as I said, will be in the description uh, for sure, uh, and possibly, yeah, possibly an annotation. Uh, I'll probably do both. Anyway, so what you're going to do is uh, go down. You're going to scroll down once you get to this page. As you can see, you get to this page. It says what is an ulti MC? Uh, wow, that's it's kind of. Okay, anyway, so scroll down, and uh, it should say download, and it should say source code, or download MultiMC. Just click MultiMC, so then you'll go to this, fork uh, k.net, uh, forward slash MultiMC4, forward slash, how do I install it, uh, Windows, download, da, da, da. okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to here, where it says download MultiMC, and click the little arrow, I guess you can just click here, whatever. Then we're going to say Windows, unless you don't use Windows, but I use Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. Uh, this is probably based more on a Windows user. So skip add, and this is only like that because of McAfee blocking it. And yeah, McAfee sucks, so just saying, just saying. Uh, 
downloading it. My internet's not the best right now, to be honest. So, okay, now we downloaded it. Now we can do the same thing we did with the FTP launcher. I'm just gonna drop that into multi MC YouTube or multi YouTube, whatever. I'm gonna run that and instantly that'll do that. Okay, now we have our little multi MC thing. Okay, now if we do need to run FTB for whatever reason on multi MC, say a server's down, we can't. Uh, don't clear. Okay, yeah, what we will do is basically we'll go to the. Uh, I think there's a name for this. We'll, we're, we're gonna go to the first little. A button on this little like ribbon thing okay we're gonna click the arrow down and uh, okay so you have a lot of things add a new instance copy selected instance uh, import existing dot minecraft folder import config pack or import from FTB launcher that's what we're going to use okay now what we're gonna do is it I've uh, already done this before on multi MC so it already defaults to this however that's not even what you want to do you want to go to desktop or wherever you saved your FTB folder okay I saved it on my desktop Okay, and then you're gonna go and you're gonna click the folder. You're not gonna double click, you're just gonna click, you're gonna select the folder. Then hit the button saying select the folder. And then it's going to open this and it's going to ask you what you wanna import. Now, if you wanna run like the, I guess, FTB mod pack, you would want to hit beta AA. But if you wanna run like FTB retro, which I believe is uh, the 1.215 for the uh, maps and such, you're gonna click that. And if you wanna run voxel, click that. But I want to run FTB beta. So, okay, now we can uh, insert a YouTube name, we can say FTB uh, mod pack, okay, now it's going to copy all the files over into MultiMC, do, 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 do. okay, so now it's right here, and uh, all we had to do is click play, now this little login thing is going to come up, and you can just uh, type in your username, okay, and then uh, my password is password, of course. Okay, password. Uh, remember username, remember password, whatever. Okay, and logging in. And just as if I would have used uh, the actual launcher, it will run. It'll run through multi MC. And uh, no matter what, you will always be able to get your FTB on. And uh, yeah. So as you can see, I will. Yep, as you can see, it is actually on. My server's right there. Well, I'm not going to actually show my server because yeah, the IP is kind of secretive, but yep. Uh, thank you for watching, and I, I really hope this helped. Uh, if it didn't, leave a comment. I will try to answer you. And uh, yes, have a nice day, people of YouTube. Thanks for watching. Peace out.